All right. So while you guys are warming up with some more questions, we're going to be talking about an immigration New Zealand uh, update. So again, we are not an immigration channel right here, right? But I do know that a lot of you guys have a lot of questions about, you know, when will you be able to come and travel to New Zealand to experience the country? Because you may just come to New Zealand as a visitor and want to travel and explore, or you may want to come to New Zealand as a student or as an immigrant and come and explore New Zealand as well. So we'll do a little bit of an update right here. But remember, there are much better places, and I will talk about those places to get some information about immigrating in New Zealand. We are here to talk mostly about traveling in New Zealand. So New Zealand is currently closed to all travelers due to COVID-19. And uh, here's the latest New Zealand immigration update. But first, what is happening in New Zealand at the moment? Yeah, so currently, as of uh, this video recording, which is in March 2021, the New Zealand borders are still closed um, to basically all international travellers, except for a very, very, very few exceptions. Typically, New Zealand citizens or New Zealand residents and a few emergency worker type people. Um, so, yeah, for the rest of the world, it, the borders are closed to come into New Zealand. And those that do come to New Zealand have to go through a quarantine process, which has fees and um, all that good stuff. And it occurs for two weeks before they can be let out into the community in New Zealand. So that's currently the status of what the borders are doing at the moment in New Zealand, making it very clear they are closed. All right. So we did receive an email uh, from Immigration New Zealand with a bit of an update on a selected amount of visas. So because we are not registered immigration advisor, we won't be able to give you any immigration advice or anything like that. I'm just going to read the email verbatim, exactly what it says. And so you guys have the same information that we do have. And then after I'll let you know how to contact Immigration New Zealand, because a lot of you guys have asked us that. All right. So the email title was Visitor Visa Extended and Additional Visas Available. Um, kia ora. Uh, so again, it's all from Immigration New Zealand. So it says, Kia ora. Thank you for your continued engagement with Immigration New Zealand. The Minister of Immigration has extended visas expiring before the 31st of March 2021 held by visitors in New Zealand due to COVID-19. There is no fees for this automatic two-month extension. Visitors help sustain our tourism and hospitality industries and the government recognizes the need for ongoing flexibility we are responding to the pandemic. The extension does not apply to visitors on the special COVID-19 short-term visitor visa introduced in September 2020. Immigration New Zealand will shortly be contacting the holders of visitors visa who have been given this extension to confirm their new visa expiry date. Again, this is an email from Immigration New Zealand and this was sent on the 3rd of March 2021. So it continues. For the visa extension and visa conditions, so first up, time in New Zealand restriction waived. The rule requiring visitor visa holders to be out of New Zealand for nine months in an 18 month period is waived temporarily for application lodge up until the 30th of June, 2021. If all other requirements for a visitor visa are met, applicants will be eligible for a visitor visa up to six months. Other requirements includes applicants um, applicants still have enough funds to support themselves, as well as health and character requirements. Visitor visa holders must lodge an application for any further visas before the end of their current visa. So that was the first one. Now there is visitor uh, visa information and fees. That's employer assisted workers. In December 2020, visas held by employer assisted workers, as well as their partners and dependents who held visitor visas, were extended by six months from the date of expiry. This includes essential skilled work visa, work to resident visas, special and skilled work visas for China, Indonesia, South Korea, Philippines and Vietnam, special category work visas for Japanese interpreters and Thai chefs, employer-specific work visas granted under Section 61 of the Immigration Act 2009, silver fund practical experience visas and religious worker visas. To be eligible, the workers has to be in New Zealand on the 1st of January 2021 and hold a, an ex, a visa expiring between the 1st of January 2021 and the 30th of June 2021 inclusive. 
Immigration New Zealand will soon be contacting partners and dependent visitor visa holder who have been extended through this December special direction with confirmation of their new expiry date. And finally, the COVID-19 short-term visitor visa. So the COVID-19 short-term visitor visa has not been extended. This two-month visitor visa allow more time for the holders to arrange onward travel. Um, Visa verification services. The majority of visa holders are now able to confirm their visa expiry date through Immigration New Zealand's visa verification services. However, partner and dependent will be able to check their expiry date soon. That's the end of the email. Now, if you do need some more information, you can contact Immigration New Zealand directly. And here are the contact details. So you can call the contact center of Immigration New Zealand. It's tool free from New Zealand landline only. And it's 0508558855. If you want to call, the Auckland number is 09914 uh, The call center is open from is open from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. six days a week. So they're closed on Sundays. And there is an email as well, which I'm going to put on screen when I'm going to repost this video because it's quite a complex one, but it's inz-dot-icc general email inquiries at mbie.govt.nz. Again, this is going to be on the screen when I repost the video. Here you go. So I hope that was really helpful uh, to you guys. Again, if you want to plan a trip or a holiday to New Zealand, you can check nzpocketguide.com. And if you want more information about immigrating in New Zealand, you need to contact Immigration New Zealand directly. That's your best source of information for all there is to do with immigrating in New Zealand. Uh, if you find this video useful, like and subscribe. We do uh, videos about traveling in New Zealand many times a week. All right, let's go back to the live chat.